after my previous experiment of building in Minecraft for 24 hours, I worked out that strangely, sleep helps with being creative in Minecraft. As stuff towards the end got pretty weird. But what about survival? Better yet, hardcore survival where concentration is key. I can't believe I'm doing this again, but like most people, I'm stuck inside at the moment, so why not? We are not going to be a worse with this either, as this is my plan. If we haven't died by hour 18, we will kill the Ender Dragon, and if we survive that, then we will keep challenging ourselves with the Wither, etc, etc. Oh, and if I die within the first 12 hours, I have to restart. Other than that, the only rule is I'm not allowed to sleep. Plus, I'm gonna keep you updated with how tired I look by showing my face every 12 hours. Sorry to the people who don't like my face. After last time, I know this is gonna suck. So if you could please leave a like and maybe, just maybe, hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. Anyway, let's begin. I just got out of the shower, got a massive mug of tea here. Let's get started, 24 hours of Minecraft playing. I'm ready. Now for those wondering, we're actually going to be using the latest snapshot, which should be quite fun. Here's our world, let's begin. So our start time is roughly 1 p.m. and here is our world. Spawned in a spruce biome. Now this first hour is probably gonna be the most intense because obviously hardcore Minecraft, you're most likely to die when you haven't got all your tools and stuff and your armor. So let's try and get set up as quickly as possible. And we need to get food ASAP as dying by hunger would not be a good start. And I think I've just spotted a village over there, which is good. Oh my gosh, yeah, huge village. Which means I can probably steal a bed, steal some food, and maybe get some tools. There's our bed. Ooh, a smoker. Let's use this to cook our food super quickly. And let's gather some of this coal. And I collected some hay bales so we can make loads of bread as well. And we're pretty much sorted for food for now. Oh well, that's a good start. Let's continue exploring. And then we can start getting some tools and armor and stuff. In fact, let's just do that now. Let's go in this cave. Me and my leather cap, we're ready to go. Oh my gosh, this cave is full of creepers. Oh my gosh, that did a lot of damage. This is why I need iron armor desperately, so that stuff doesn't happen. Normally I'd get tools first, but today we're making armor first. Goodbye, leather cap. Hello, full iron armor. Nice. We're pretty much set up now. I feel like I'm confident enough to go outside, find a biome to live in. It should be daylight as I did just sleep the first chicken kill of the 24 hours. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wander till we find a new village and then we'll set up base near that village so we can do some trading and stuff, get some tools, get some cool enchantments early on. It's funny, even though I'm in hardcore mode, it still says respawn point set. Yeah, nice bait, Minecraft. I'm not gonna fall for that, I'm smart. Oh. This looks like an absolutely terrible village. I hate the ones on multiple layers. It has a blacksmith though. Ooh, another iron pick, nice. But to be honest, I'm gonna keep going. I hate this village. I feel like that's a bad omen. This is more like it, hello. Flat boy village, gentlemen, what, what's it like here? Is it nice? Is it nice to live around here? Okay. Lots of houses and lots of villagers here. This will be perfect. But I think we're gonna set up shop here. It's also right next to a tiger biome, so that's awesome. Can get all the spruce wood I need. And there's a nice plains here. Cool mountains in the background. This will be our base. Just scouting where would be the best location to set up. And I'm pretty sure just over here, because it's close enough to the village. And there's quite a lot of flat land over there, so I don't have to do much terraforming. So we're approaching the end of the first hour. It's actually only been 45 minutes. So I think it's time we start setting up our base, which could take a few hours because I want to make an actually cool looking base. So I got some cows. I also got some sheep who were mega annoying. I started a very small tree farm, plus planted all my sugar cane. Now normally I build bases out of wood, but today we're going to change that up. I'm going to go for a mix of concrete and stone slash stone bricks slash smooth stone. So basically, I need to go mining and I think we should start a strip mine so we can get some diamonds plus gold for golden apples and carrots and everything else we would ever need. Holy moly, would you look at this look? I was just digging down. This is like level 13 right here. I was like, oh, I'll start digging out a bit more diamonds and a decent amount as well, lovely. And to be honest, using an iron pickaxe is pretty dull. I think it's time we went villager trading, hello. No, I've got no more pickaxe. Oh, well, we know there's diamonds at the end of this tunnel. Maybe we can get fortune from one of these villagers, or if not that, maybe silk touch and we can save it for when we do have a fortune pickaxe. So wary of creepers when I come up on the surface. So let's get that diamond pickaxe upgrade, but we're gonna save the rest for now. Before we build our base, we're probably gonna build a little base for the villagers. And probably the easiest way to get them over here is via boat, as we don't really have enough iron for a minecart shaft. What is going on here? <laughs> 
Do they need helping out? This actually works out pretty well. I can get him in my boat. This is a slow process. And I need to keep him on this level so I can get him across. So, made this little stupid bridge here. It seems stupid riding in a boat across water. What we gotta do? What we gotta do? All right, we got two of these guys here. I'm just gonna encase them for a while while we build their hut. Oh my gosh, where did the time go? Right, so we started working on our villager hut. We're two and a half hours in, nearly ready to move these guys in. All right, it's complete. A nice little villager hut here. Well and truly lit up. Lots of torches on this thing because I'm scared. Let's get these guys in. I put an iron door on the front. Which I don't think villagers can use. But we need to destroy that for now so we can get them in here. And yes, they're still well and truly alive, which is perfect. And I saved all my bread so we can breed these two together. There we go. And now we have a baby villager. And let's see if we can get silk touch first try are you serious right well let's keep that guy but of course we need emeralds so we're gonna have to do some trading with the other villagers all right let's go back to mining and working on our main base as i'm sick of sleeping in a little cave i've made down here it's not very homely and we just hit our three as well only 21 more to go Woohoo! made myself our first Anvil. I'm trying at the moment to get enough XP to get some level 30 enchantments. So progress is a bit slow at the moment. We're approaching our four and I need more sugar cane. This one is growing just too slowly. We need books. I kind of spent all my paper trying to get emeralds and I also need carrots and that village doesn't have any carrots. I've got some potatoes growing here, but I want carrots. So I'm going to save these coordinates. I'm going to head to another village. Also look for like a pool of lava on the way as we need obsidian for our enchanting table. Ooh. Here we go. We've got loads of stuff from this village. Loads of emeralds, loads of hay bales, some carrots. Let's even get some more emeralds from this dude. That should be enough to get our silk touch book. We're on the exact four hour mark now. Mental. Not even got a base yet, but our villagers are set. Look at all this stuff they've got around them. There we go. He's locked in, which means I can now start working on these other guys. Here we go. Mending. As easy as that. 37 emeralds though. Are you serious? Efficiency five. Oh, these are so good, but look at the price. Enchanting table. So I need some concrete, which means we're going to have to head out and find a load of sand and gravel. Ooh, a fortune two book in a chest. Look at all that light gray concrete. Lovely. That should be enough to get us through. We're going to turn half of it to concrete and leave the rest as concrete powder. After watching Mumbo Jumbo do this in his videos and dying to creepers constantly, I thought I'd protect myself. All right, we got sort of an outline for the base and I've decided I'm not gonna have anywhere near enough blocks really. So we're gonna work on it one room at a time. This over here is gonna be our chest room. So we're gonna get working on this one first because I feel like this is the most important. I'm gonna try and time-lapse this because it's gonna take a while to build. Are you guys ready for the worst time-lapse you've ever seen? Yes, that's right. This took me 45 minutes and it's a 20 second time-lapse where basically nothing happens. I'm so sorry. We just hit the six hour mark, a quarter of the way through. Our chest room is coming along slowly. Yes, 15 bookshelves, nice. Now it's kind of hard to see what's going on at the moment. There's a little courtyard out here. This is gonna be like our main area. So I think I might put our enchanting table in here and we can make another pickaxe as ours is in here. It's almost broken. It's basically worthless. Bang, efficiency four. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put silk touch on it for now and then we'll get our next pickaxe with the fortune. We'll give this one a name of silky boyo. But I left a little area on the side here where I could store these for when we get to use them. And now we can use the rest of the leather to label our chests. We need more wood desperately. So let's carry on building this. I'm getting a lot of extra seeds. So I think just on the side here, this will eventually be up against a wall. So we'll have a little system here like this where you put seeds in here. They'll go into there, into the composter, give us some bone meal. Also, this farmer escaped from the rest of the other guys. Now using my composter. All right, we got all our chests sorted. Not all of them are labeled yet. We need to kill a few more cows. And for that, we need to breed a few more. We need some more wheat. However, I need lots more oak logs to finish this base. So I'm going to go get a load right now. We're on our seven and a half and things are slowly coming along. Going to start working on the main building now. Our chest room is basically complete. We still need a few more item frames. Still feeling good, enjoying this. And I'm constantly trading with my villagers as well. And we're gathering actually quite a lot of emeralds now. We can nearly afford a mending book. I'm just trying to get a new villager and I got this guy who gives 10 emeralds and a book for one mending book that's insane oh my gosh i was placing a block and i went to destroy a torch and i hit the iron golem are you having a laugh i don't have a sword right now does he eventually lose interest 
Looks like we're okay, thank goodness. So you probably noticed I hadn't used any of the concrete or concrete powder that I made and that's because I was saving it for the second level here. Progress is coming along, but we are kind of like completely out of materials right now. I need to go mining to get some more like XP and also to get some more diamonds and stuff. So we're gonna do that now. Approaching our nine, still 15 to go. Just had my first major scare. This creeper just fell on me. Oh my gosh, I didn't have, was it recording? Oh my gosh. I think if I take one blast from a creeper, I'm dead. My heart rate is beating right now. I need to get diamond armor ASAP. All right, let's hope we get fortune free on this pickaxe. If we don't, I'm gonna be sad. Efficiency four. Fortune three. Would you look at that? What a pickaxe, holy moly. Now we can use it on all this. Get so much XP and resources. 19 diamonds, lovely. Let's make some armor. There we go. Now we're better equipped. And it only took nine hours and 10 minutes. I'm not gonna use it just yet. But I'm gonna plop a little never portal down here. And the base is coming along. I need some more spruce wood and I need some more XP because I need to enchant my armor. Okay, so I've plopped my mending book on this pickaxe here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to a desert because I wanna get some cacti. And I've left a little space on the roof up there to make a little cacti farm. So we're gonna do that up there. Let's head out on a little adventure. It's been a while. Brewing stand, I'm gonna make one of those. That's why I was gonna go to the nether, but that's useful. All right, a little cactus farm set up. As you can see, it's on the roof. Completely forgot that the water would be very annoying. But it's too late now, so there we go. But it comes out into this little chest up here, which we can then take and smelt to get some XP and stuff. So I think I'm gonna try and get the villagers I'm actually using out of the house and into my base, maybe this room here at the end. So this could all go horribly wrong, and it did. All right, and then we, no. Oh gosh, that didn't go well. No, dude, where are you going? Oh my gosh, he's ran off. All right, let's just take our farmer one and try again. Oh no, they're all escaping. Oh, I hate villagers so much. Oh my gosh, stop blocking him. He's now in the composter. I hate villagers. All right, he's in. Thank goodness for that. All right, our silk touch villagers on his way. There we go. I've realized this window is in a stupid position now, but I don't care. Now there's only four villagers in here somehow. Finally one which is decent. Protection for 22 emeralds. That's not bad because I got one that was 47 emeralds for protection for. And we've got enough for two pieces of armor. I'll take anything because we're going to head to the nether. And yes, I am naming my armor chesty westy and leggy weggy. But I'm gonna take some gold with me because I am playing the snapshot after all and there could be some cool stuff there. And I might make a golden apple. We're 10 minutes away from hour 11 and this is what I'm doing. Oh, straight into a new biome. Okay, okay. There's quite a lot of endermen here, isn't there? which I do need to kill at some point. Maybe let's try kill one now. No ender pearls. It's kind of weird being in the nether now because I kind of just don't hate it as much. Apart from all the lava, of course. God, this place is horrible. I really want to find one of the crimson forests, but instead I'm just stuck in these warped forests. I think the crimson ones have the piglins in. This is very scary. Constantly on the lookout for guests. Skeletons? You serious? Why are there skeletons in the nether now? Ooh, a nether fortress. Okay, finally something different. Okay, this is a pretty big nether fortress. We should be able to find some good stuff here. Ouch. Oh, and we're withered. But we got a wither skull head on the first wither we killed. Right, so I am withered right now, but if you look over there, you can see the new biome. Let's see if we can find any of these new piglin things to trade. I think that's one down there. Oh gosh, he's gonna shoot me. Wait, what? I thought they were friendly. Oh gosh, all right, he's just shooting me. Oh, you have to wear gold armor. I gave him a gold bar. What's he doing? He's looking at it. You threw me some soul sand. All right, let's try again. Give me something good, mate, come on. Obsidian, one block. Oh wait, there's some boots there. I think they've got the soul sand thing on. Yeah, look, soul speed too. They're iron boots though. We now know what they do at least. I guess we should probably head home. Oh gosh, blaze spawner here. Let's encase it quickly. Oh gosh, eat my, I'm gonna eat my golden apple, I don't care. I'm use my fire resistance potion. Okay, this is more calm now. Thank goodness, the portal. All right, let's go back home. Oh, it's raining, it's horrible, but it feels good to be back. Anyway, we've got our enchantment points. Let's enchant my diamond sword. Pain of arthropods, are you serious? Oh. And let's finish this base. I'm gonna relax for a little bit. God. I think it's time we had a look at my face. As that's right, it's the 12th hour. We're only halfway through. Only six hours till we try and kill the Ender Dragon, I guess. It's gonna be 7 a.m. at that point. 
So, I think I've actually completed the outside of the base, as you can see here. It's kind of hard to get like a good view of it. Maybe let's dig up with some dirt. There it is. It looks pretty terrible, to be honest with you. It started off looking really cool, and as time has gone on, and I'm getting more and more tired, it's just got worse. But we are approaching 13 hours, so please, please forgive me. Anyway, we're going to go mining for a bit. Maybe like two hours. And then we can start preparing to go to the end, where hopefully we won't die. The last time I went to the end... I died. It's quarter to two in the morning right now. Nearly 15 hours in and we've just been mining for the past two hours. Look at what we've got. Full stack and a bit of diamonds. Ridiculous amounts of coal like each of these is 576 individual bits of coal. So as you can see, a lot of coal. A load of iron. We've even got some emeralds, some redstone, lapis and... Yeah, just loads of goodies. Also 38 enchantment points, but because of that mending pickaxe, oh, it's brand new. And now it's time to start prepping for the end. Not the end of the video, I mean like the end of Dragon. So we've made a new sword because Bane of Arthropods. Let's see what we get. Ooh, not bad. Not infinity, but not bad. And for the sword, knock back to... <laughs> That's a joke. I need a good sword. Sharpness, four. Okay, if we combine those two... That's pretty good. We're gonna head to the Never and kill some Endermen for some Ender Pearls. Luckily, I can just hide under here like this, look at the Endermen, get them all mad at me and stuff. But I keep knocking them down there, so I need to stand somewhere else. Okay, I'm super bored. 14 will be enough. Starting to get real tired now. It's 4 a.m. But anyway, we've turned it into some Eyes of Ender, and let's get looking for our portal. We're close. And this Eye of Ender has lasted us like eight attempts. It's mental. Okay, it's somewhere underneath this mountain. Oh, I didn't bring a shovel. I'm gonna have to make a stone one. So it looks like it's directly below me here. Let's get digging down. I'm in. All right, let's find this portal. Hey, we found it. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Luckily, we have enough eyes of Ender to fill up the entire thing. Boom. All right, so we know the location, but first, I'm gonna wait till we get to the 18 hour mark. We're currently at 15 and a half hours, so we've got two and a half hours, so let's get fully prepared. Best armor, get a decent bow. There's an invisible spider in my flipping house somehow. What? 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 Since when was that a thing? Apparently when I was in the nether, all my villagers, other than the ones in the hut and the ones here, got killed by zombies. So, that was expected, but oh well. But we found a villager who will sell us infinity, so let's get one of those, not two. Put that on our bow. Oh, and our farmer's just escaped. Wait, who is this guy? I don't care. Take my potatoes. I also made myself some golden carrots, so we're ready to roll whenever. So we still have two hours. And I'm really not confident about killing it, so let's let's just keep grinding. Let's get some more stuff on this armor. Just spent about an hour building this sugarcane farm here. It's meant to be automated. It makes a loud noise and stuff. They patched it in 1.16. It, it doesn't work. I'm so sad. We still have an hour, so I think I might kill some chickens. But let's let's do it efficiently. 17 hours in, the chicken torture has begun. <sighs> right. It's time to head to the end. Oh, I'm so scared, but we're doing it. Okay, it's starting to get light outside. It's 7 a.m. I don't think I've ever killed the Ender Dragon before without dying, so... I've also got a little random blocks in my inventory somehow. This could be it. This could ruin my 24-hour challenge. I really want to make the full 24 hours. Let's go. Oh, no. Okay, let's get across first. Not a terrible spawn. Let's start shooting these crystals. These are the things that killed me last time. These purple clouds. Need to watch out for those. Things are going well so far. It's going better than my Minecraft Goals one. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no, it didn't get the water out in time. What the heck, but we survived. Eat the golden apple quickly. Uh oh. Oh gosh, this, that was stupid, but we've done it. Oh, I've somehow looked at two endermen. This is not how I die. Okay, I think we have one tower left. All right, we got it. Just the ender dragon left to kill. It's pretty chill from here on out, to be honest. There we go. Easy peasy. 24 hours. All you need to kill the Ender Dragon, isn't it? Give me that XP. Oh, mama. I haven't slept for 18 hours. I'm going a bit crazy. The portal's opened up. Well, we've got nothing else to do. We may as well go for the Elytra and a Shulker box. And then we can try and kill the Wither. Let's see if we can fly first. If we can fly in our 24-hour challenge, I'm going to be so happy. I think that's an entity in the distance. It's really hard to make out. This is the worst, by the way. I'm so tired. I think I'm going to misclick somehow. My my fingers glued to shift. Oh, I'm not seeing a ship. Well, that sucks. Guess we keep going until we find another city. Oh, I can see one. It's like, look, I'm here. 
And there's one there. Sick. No boat again, though. That's a boat. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. This boy is huge. And there's an ender chest I can take with my silk touch because I don't actually own one. I'm taking a bit of a stupid route here. If I put my water on here, hop in this. Oh, look at that. Yes. Gimme, gimme. What have we got in here? Sharpness four. Decent pickaxe. All right, let's get out of here. Woohoo! What is going on with this end world? Look, that's the one I went to. There's no one over there. We made it back. Nice. Oh, I'm so glad to go home. Let's have a look at our rubbish base from a distance. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. Look how bad it is. Oh, it's so ugly. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to go back to the nether soon and start collecting wither skulls. Found the nether fortress. Let's kill some withers. Only one wither skeleton has spawned and I've been here for 20 minutes. Which feels like it's been an hour. Wither skull head number two. And there's head number three. Nice. Oh, now that means I actually have to spawn the thing now. All right, we're back home. We have our three wither skulls. So I just had some Cheerios and a cup of tea. Yes, I'm very British. I've decided I need to decorate my house a bit more. I can make use of this upstairs by making a trophy room with all the cool things we've collected in this 24 hours. Now I've been playing Minecraft for 19 and a half hours. I've, I've just started chopping trees. I don't know why. I've been collecting it in my shulker box. I might make a barn or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Got myself a dog, named him Terry. Built him a house. There's a T there. Not sure why I did this. It's now 9.30 a.m. Three and a half hours to go. And you know what? Let's kill the wither. I'm gonna try and use the underground method I've seen people use. So I'll probably just use our strip miners. It doesn't matter if that gets destroyed or anything. We'll go right to the end of one of these tunnels. What the heck? There's diamonds at the end of this tunnel. I must not have collected them. But anyway, that should be a long enough tunnel. Let's, um, ready to do this. I'm quite nervous now. Okay, let's eat a golden apple. Get our bow ready. Off we go. Okay, it's immune at the moment. Okay, this isn't too bad. It's already half HP. It's Im immune to bows now. Nearly got it. Oh my gosh. The Never Star. The Wither's dead. What? You don't get an achievement for that? That's mad. But we did it. Easy peasy. Let's make a beacon. Don't think we have enough iron to power it to full potential though. Nowhere <laughs> near enough really. The haste does help a little bit. That's cool. Even with only two layers. Oh well, that's a cool achievement. We'll put it in our museum up here. Lovely. Look at all this stuff we've done. I'm happy with this. My alarm to wake up just went off, but I haven't slept. But it also means only three hours to go. These slow long hours. I've been killing creepers all night because I wanted gunpowder for rockets so I could do some flying. Look at all these rockets. I'm full of arrows, but I don't care because we're going on a little fly. Let's see if we can find like a pillager tower or something. It's just quite fun flying around to be honest. Hey, a desert temple. I'll raid it. Ooh, more gunpowder. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Are you serious? What the heck? That's how I die. It's 10 a.m. How long did I last? 19 hours and 10 minutes. This is wrong. It was actually 21 hours and 10 minutes. My maths was not good. I can't believe I died like that. So yeah, this is the world. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I died like that. That's so stupid. I have no idea where I was either. A creeper. It, always a creeper. Hardcore mode. Creepers are the only ones that kill people, isn't it? But here was our base. Quite a lot of stuff, to be honest, when you think about it. Underground. You can see our strip mine. Not bad for 24 hours. Look at all the lava in here. What the heck? We collected a decent amount of stuff. I can't believe I'm, I died. I can't believe I didn't make it 24 hours. And the thing that killed me was a creeper falling down a hole and setting off TNT. Unbelievable. But th there it is. I, I can sleep. I can finally sleep. Here's our statistics in case anyone cares. We mined 8,000 stone, 3,000 netherrack. We got about 119 diamonds. Only 26 chickens killed. That's sad. Creeper killed you one time. Killed an ender dragon, killed a wither. Only had to kill 21 wither skeletons, which is not bad at all. Oh man, what a sad ending. And here's how my eyes look after 19 hours. It's light outside, as you can see. So there you have it guys, that is the end of the video. I've had about 18 hours of sleep since finishing the recording. Quite sad we didn't make the full 20 hours, but 21 isn't bad, I'm just saying. And the way I died, so stupid. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.